Okay, so let's talk about this idea of in-place upgrades versus side-by-side -side migrations. <clears throat> what I mean by an in-place upgrade is you walk up to the computer that's running an older version, you pop in the DVD, and you run the, the upgrade program. Okay? So what I mean by side-by-side -side migration is you get a brand new computer. Well, I don't know if it's brand new or not, but new to this project. You get, uh, you install Windows on it. You install the new version of SQL Server on it. And then you migrate the databases across. So with an in-place upgrade, <clears throat> the benefits are it's easy. Everything gets upgraded in place, and as long as nothing goes wrong, and it probably won't, um, you're all fine. And when, at the end of the time, everything's fine. You can go home. The disadvantages of it are this. Number one, you're upgrading an existing piece of uh, equipment. So you're taking your existing hardware, and you're upgrading it, and it very likely is no longer top notch. Okay? So it's probably a more decrepit piece of hardware. Maybe it's fine, maybe it's not. <clears throat> the biggest disadvantage is if anything goes wrong, you're in real trouble. <clears throat> And while it's not likely that something will go wrong, it's certainly possible. So it's very possible that you'll get in the middle of the upgrade, something will happen, you know, uh, you experience a power outage, or a driver's not correct, or you've got a corrupted copy of something or another. Now you are looking at restoring the entire server from backups. Because in most cases, if you're interrupted and something goes bad in the middle of the upgrade, it's gone. <coughs> so you know how they always say, make sure you do an, a backup before you do any upgrades. Well, it's really true. All right, it couldn't be more true. So do your backups first, but if you get interrupted, if something goes wrong in the middle of an in-place upgrade, you're toast, right? It's just dead. And you will find yourself there for the whole weekend restoring the server from backups, which is never a pleasant experience. Okay, migrations side by side. I go get a new computer, install Windows, install SQL Server, the new version, install all the service packs, all the, you know, whatever things I need to install, hotfixes, all that stuff. Make sure it's all correct and up to date. And then I take my databases and I migrate them one at a time. Now, the advantages of this are, if something goes wrong, A, you just shut down the new computer and go home and, you know, try it again next week. Uh, another advantage is you're, of course, moving to new hardware, which is more appropriately sized and tuned and things like that. You can test it, whereas with an upgrade, in-place upgrade is difficult to test. A side-by-side -side migration is easy to test. You just do it once and see what happens. Right? And then if it all goes well, then you plan it for this weekend. You can do it in the middle of the day because you're not interrupting anything. Um, so if something goes wrong, you just shut it off, go home, come back, live to tell the story. And um, the disadvantages are, and these are serious, and the biggest one is that when you're all done, you've got a new computer with a new name new Windows server name, and a new IP address. And all of your apps need to be adjusted. And that can be done in several ways. You can, number one, 
you can just go into DNS and, and change it. Just say that this, this server is now at this new IP address. Or you can uh, install the server, get it all ready to go, and then shut down the original and then rename the server. That's not uh, one of my favorite things to do because I have had problems when I rename Windows servers. Usually it works okay, but not always, but you can try that. Um, there's also a really good process I've documented for you that gives you the way to kind of avoid that whole problem. It takes more work and it takes longer and it requires some interim hardware, but it allows you to get this done and it's a very smooth operation for your users. The users really just don't see any difference when they come into work next Monday. It looks to them, the only notice they'll see is that it's faster or maybe you can depend on your hardware and stuff. So there are great ways to do side-by-side -side migrations that avoid that downside, but it's there. It does take more work. And so whereas an in-place upgrade is easy, a side-by-side -side is difficult, it takes more work. But when you're all done, you feel better about it.